Hey, what's up guys, this is Val. In today's video, I'm gonna do a review of Mesa Desert by AA Co. And I think this is a vast improvement over the last lookalike project from AA Co. If you take a look at his store, you can see that one of the kind of similar projects was the Dry Mud Desert, which is over here. And I think this was a cool project that looked a little bit empty or so forth, right? And so I think this last one is a vast improvement as far as quality goes. It just looks amazing. The ground looks a lot better and all that. So I think just comparing these two and looking at the images, this was a straight buy for me, guys. I just think this looks amazing. It looks incredibly amazing. Just beautiful how the lighting falls, the skies, and there's two HDR maps included, plus options for the sand or the, the area here in the center. I mean, if you are into, you know, Mad Max style renders or sci-fi renders in the desert, this is just a must have, right? Let me just quickly show you how this performs inside the studio. I think this is one of the must have packages at DAS right now. It's just so incredibly well done. Perfect. So it also comes with these icons that you can simply quickly rotate the dome. And here's just the clay renders. All right, so let's get into the studio. And over here in the studio, you can find in my jazz library, environments, landscape, AECO, Mesa Desert. And it has this preload option first. Let's click on that. Then it has two different settings here which is the render settings afternoon hdr and render settings sunset hdr this is basically the the uh, the light options let me just back off the camera a little bit so i'm going to also make sure my camera doesn't have any headlamp on i don't want to have that and here's the preview and now we're going to click on let's say the sun midday option and if when i look at the environment tab here in the render settings you can see this is an hdr map that's included for this particular set all right and it has all these options already pre pre-made here so they are presets and man it looks good straight off the bat look at the ground man I just, you know, love desert, you know, scenes when following the Game of Thrones right now, the, the desert scene was, you know, my, my, one of my favorite, right? Okay, so when you get, get really close to the ground, it shows a little bit of low res tendencies, um, just the nature of this. So that's a small drawback that, you know, maybe there could be some more high res option right in the middle. But at a certain distance, it just looks amazing. All right, so we got these dome options. All right, so dome rotation value zero. Let's click on that. That basically alters the dome rotation. And this one over here. And with that changes how the sun falls, which direction it comes from. Let me just wait for that. And that quickly changes all the shadows and everything. Great. So let's pick the other one. Afternoon. Let's take a look at that. Let's wait for it to update. We're going to pause the video. What is it updating? Oh, there we go. So this is more, more like a midday almost setting. That was a sunset. It's kind of like a midday almost more light still great shadows in the background here the mountain range there is distant haze and all that included which is awesome i just love how this looks especially in the distant really good all right so there is also iron materials here and basically this one here is the default ground with the you know pebbles and sand right in the middle Let's check out 
that. All right. Then we have sand, sand only. So when I click on that, I'm not sure if I need to select something in here for that to change sand to ground. If I click on that, it was a little bit unclear. Yeah, you need to select that. So that was a little bit unclear. You have to select the ground first, but it just adds variation, all right? And you can also click on the default to get the pebbles in there as well. Love them, okay. Then you have dust haze. This is the default one that kind of hazes the, the distance a little bit, so it looks more realistic. Then we got low dust. And I'm not sure I need to, you know, there is dust haze, there's all these different objects here, and I'm not really sure, there is no explanation if I need to select them first or not. It says dust haze, so maybe I should just select the dust haze here, but I'm not sure. That changed, right? right? Default, and low far. So there is dust haze and far haze. These are different objects. So far haze is a different object. I think it's excellent that they have options here for both. Not sure I'm changing anything right now, but it's a little bit unclear what is what here. It says dust haze, but I didn't see any change. Nevertheless, this package looks amazing. What I'm going to do is add a center object just to see how the ground performs at close range, right? All right, so I'm going to load the stagecoach wagon here and just see how it looks. Just wait for it to load. All right, let's locate our wagon. There it is. So. So by default, the the ground is set to auto, and it doesn't really work with the wagon. It kind of sinks into the ground. So uh, we could use maybe manual. All right, manual ground position, and either raise the ground or we can just you know raise the wagon, right? But um, it's kind of funny that it doesn't really stay on the ground, but we can adjust it down. That's pretty heavy. I'm pretty sure I'm not moving the ground, so there is center ground, there it is. Sorry about that. Move it down. There we go. It can be a little bit sinking into the ground effect. That's okay. Looks amazing. All right. But the the issue I'm having here is that the ground. This looks good at the distance, right? But when we get close to the ground, I mean really close. Let's do that. Then uh, let me just rotate so I can see what's going on. Here we go. Awesome. So that survives very nicely, you know, resolution-wise. So my initial, there is a little bit of low-res thing happening when you're really, really close to the ground, but we are talking ant level, all right? But just for, you know, renders like this, it looks freaking amazing. There is no low-resolution feeling at all here and just survives being that close to the ground without looking low res, which is which is amazing for this type of environment. Let's go back a little bit. Let's 
let's get glow on the ground yeah so here when we get away from the center it kind of feels like the you know the ground starts to decay its quality so it's mainly you know close here in the middle when we really have the quality engaged okay so it decays over distance this quality but it's okay it's a center piece that holds quality and works good enough and it looks amazing so guys for me this is a must-have uh, if you haven't gotten this already just go and grab it it's i i can't describe it with words you know i'm, I'm a huge fan of of sci-fi and uh all kinds of desert you know items and themes and I think this is just incredible it just looks amazing so guys that was it for this video um, please comment below if you like this video and share with your friends and also if you want to check this out at DAS follow the link below this video thanks so much for watching guys keep on tweaking and I'll see you soon again